Hi, welcome back to my channel, Coding Skills. As part of this video, we will learn how to find common character symbols to string values. So what exactly common character means? If the same character exists in the given two string values, then it will be considered as a common character. As part of identifying this common character, we will not consider the placement of the character. It can be in any place in both the string values. For example, if the two string values are hello and hi, then we can expect the common character is h. Let's see how we can implement the same using a Java program. I'm switching back to Eclipse Editor. Creating a Java class. I'm selecting from the static wide menu. I'm importing a scanner of the task. We need to read some data from the keyboard. So, Java data to the scanner. Instantiating scanner. And mapping it to input screen. Now, let's print it. Message on the console requesting the user to enter string one. Declaring a variable and reading data from the keyboard and storing it in a variable. Let's print another method. Capture another string value. Declare another string variable. And reading the data from. So now we are done with reading the data from the keyboard. Let's write a common function will take care of identifying this common character. Public. Five. It will take these two string values. One and S2. Declaring is buffer variable which will capture all the common characters so we don't need to import the string, string buffer variable as it will be available in the default package using the for loop type to zero Getting character by character from string one variable. And we are going to compare with the string two. S2 dot index of character greater than equal to zero. Then we will append this particular character in a string buffer variable. If two string dot, if there are no characters identified, then you can print a message on the console. There are no And we'll print the respective characters. So 
So you are done with the function. Let's invoke this particular function within your main program. By passing the suspect to string value. We are almost done with the program. Let's run this. First, I'll perform the native scenario. Hello, the BCD I'm entering for two different string values. So we could see the message there are no common characters in both the string values. Now let's check in. No, that's not it. Hello and I. So in this case, the common character between both the string values is H. Executing again for one more scenario. So I have entered two string values. The common characters between both the strings are you can see that. So this is output. And you might be wondering why I'm seeing multiple characters. So you are seeing the O multiple times occurred. So right now we are capturing everything string buffer variable, which is not going to restrict anything. So whatever you dump in, in that variable, it will capture everything. So suppose you are if your requirement is to capture only the unique characters, so we just need to make minor changes within this program. Let's see what exactly we can alter. So for that we need to import two books. I'll comment the world piece of code wherever applicable. So, for your reference, I'm declaring. Right now, we are storing on a string buffer variable, right? Come in the old line and we are going to store it in it. So, this there is a because this is a collection already predefined methods are available. So, add is a method to add value within your set object. And then here also I'll be updating the condition. Old, old condition, I'm just keeping it for preference. So our variable is common characters dot. There is a predefined method size, right? So here the size is zero. Means there are no characters identified. The collection of directly we can paint it. Let's run this program. See that here O you can see the multiple times in the previous expression we see multiple values now right now see one unique character so the reason here we are getting is there is one space value for so space also we could see one character right so all are unique characters we don't see any kind of a repeated characters here this so we can make it if you use a collection object that otherwise in the previous program in the string buffer means it is going to consider all the characters. Thanks for watching the video. In case if you are having any questions, please do let me know.
please like the video and share it with your friend and also subscribe to the channel if you are looking for any special program please do let me know i'll try to make sure i'll be taking care of it in upcoming videos thank you once again bye